Hey guys, so it's 12.50 and I did not film earlier because everybody was asleep and I didn't want to make any noise because yesterday I was being too loud. So yeah, everybody's up. <laughs> They've been up, but we just had breakfast. And yeah, I'm going to go shopping today, so. Hey guys, so um, it's me again and I'm wearing a jacket because I'm cold. It is 3.30 and I'm ready to go shopping yet. Yeah, I'm wearing some... Sporting shorts, if you can see that, and this pink shirt. And then I have my shoes outside, and then I'm wearing the jacket. It was raining outside, so yeah. Oh, I'm gonna be going shopping soon, so. And you guys, I am not gonna go shopping until probably tomorrow, if not Thursday or Wednesday. But yeah. Uh, my parents are going to be coming soon, and we're just going to chill. Hey, guys. So, um, it is like 9.30 almost, and I'm still here at my aunt's, and my parents got here, and we're hanging out. Uh, they're watching a movie over there. Then uh, my cousin went to go buy some stuff, and we're going to eat some McDonald's. And, uh, yeah, we're just chilling around, having some fun. I'll inform you all later before I film for the question of the day. Okay. Hey guys, what is up? So before I close up the video and do the question of the day, I wanted to um, actually just, since this video is really short, I wanted to add, a, a, I guess, a couple of minutes to it to show y'all something. And I wanted my hair to be curly tomorrow because I mean, it's Monday and I'm a lazy person and Mondays are always lazy and I wanted my hair to be curly since like last week. So I decided to try some overnight heatless curls. So I decided I'll just give y'all a tutorial on that. So yeah, the items you will need are a hairbrush, a spray bottle, some hairspray, four to five socks, and yourself, like your hair. So first thing we're gonna do is just take your hairbrush and then brush your hair out. Just brush it, no biggie about it. Now I want to like evenly or try to evenly section it in the back and there we go doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going straight to sleep now I have some shorter hair here in the front like some bangs so make sure if you do have bangs you need to catch those too so it's not really even make sure it's all even okay that's step one Step two is to take one of these sections and split it in two, nice and even. Now, making sure that this section is all up in the front, you just you can just throw this bottom section down back, and then just take your hairspray bottle, your not your hairspray, your water thingy, your um. Spray bottle and damp your hair. Brush it out again. Redamp it. Make sure you get the front as well. And then that's step two. For step three, you will need your first sock and your first section. Now, what you're going to want to do. Just let your bangs loose, if you do have bangs. If you don't, then forget about that. And then you're going to take your sock midway and put these tips and just wrap the tips around once. Then you're going to hold on to those and start rolling your sock up all the way to your scalp. And then as you go up, you're going to want to start to capture your bangs if you're not there yet keep going up no no I think one more roll up and then I'm gonna start rolling this bang up then you just roll it up and then you're gonna take the two ends which is why you want to do this in the middle and then just tie them up 
then you have this wacky thing. Now you're gonna take your bottom section and you're gonna read out that section and hairspray. By the way, I have this bed head, hard head, hard hole hairspray. So there you go. And then hairspray that. Ooh, some got under my ear. And that's pretty much all you have to do. And you just go to sleep with this. So you have to do, now you have to do the bottom section. So I'm going to tell you one more time. And then I'll show you all how the rest goes. So once again, you will need your sock. You just need to damp your hair. It's pretty good. Kind of brush it out again. And do it again. Now this time, I'm going to put my hair on the bottom and roll it up from the bottom to kind of get it away from my face. Now I don't have any bangs on the bottom of my head, so I'll just easily roll that up. Pretty quickly process. Now this I did it kind of loose, because um, these I did tighter because it's going to be covering. So then I just need to redamp and hairspray again. Now if you don't have hairspray, you don't have to do it. I've actually seen a few YouTube videos that do it without hairspray. So if you don't have hairspray, you're totally fine. It's no big problem. So, yeah. So guys, this is the finished product. I look beautiful and ready for a party. Well, not exactly. You just need to have a nice, mostly 10 hour beauty sleep and then you'll be ready for a party. So yeah guys, um, this is the finished look. So yeah. Hey guys, so um, yeah, this is what I got. I'm doing the overnight heatless curls, and um, this is how they turned out. Well, not the actual finished product, but I just need to go to bed, and then I will show you all in the morning. So it's time for the question of the day. So the question of the day, it's actually like a double-sided question of the day. So, like, have you ever tried these heatless curls? Let me know in the comments down below. But the actual is, if you have, would you rather heat curls or heatless curls? So, yeah, don't forget to comment down below because I want to know. The question of the day is, if you have done heatless curls, would you rather do heatless again or heat curls again? Um, I think I would go with heatless because it's it doesn't do any damage to my hair. Um, and I mean, I don't have to waste any time on it, just a few five minutes at night, and then when I wake up in the morning, it's gorgeous curls. So yeah, guys, love you guys, bye.